finally the first segment of my build series from my brand new 2019 Yamaha YZ450 FX where I'll be doing a supermodel build but I will still be using it for dirt like it was intended to be used for at the MX track and trails but on the street I will be riding this in supermodel form being a hooligan and doing some urban fookery like you know I love to do but today I will be installing these items here, which by the way, I'll include links to in the description and comment section of this video. First thing, I'll be changing the exhaust because the exhaust is too loud on this bike. So I went with a FMF F4.1 RCT aluminum exhaust here with the carbon fiber tip. And it has a, a quiet insert and a spark arrestor. So this will shave some weight off and also quiet down the bike and also I have the bulletproof radiator guards I'll tell you guys the first mod you should do to your dirt bike or dual sport is to put radiator guards on because these plastic radiator guards are crap I tell you, you drop the bike really hard it'll bust that radiator you'll have leaking uh, coolant and then your bike will overheat and then you can be stranded so it pays to get the radiator guards and then of course I have the seal savers like I have on my WR250R where I put them here to help keep it goes right here it zips on there uh, it has zip ties where it'll keep water and dirt from going up underneath your seals and it'll help uh, help you be able to keep your seals a lot longer so let's get started on this build let's go for a ride <laughs> watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today now to install the FMF pipe very simple install you're gonna need some high temp silicone sealant which when you're ready to install this pipe on the mid pipe you're gonna put a light bead here on the inside of the pipe and that'll help prevent any exhaust leaks <music> Okay, now let's see the weight difference between the two pipes. Stock pipe, it is 6.7 pounds. Okay, the FMF pipe weighs 6.5 pounds. So the weight difference is it's not that big of a difference there. We're just talking a few ounces. Okay, now to prep the surface on the inside of the pipe with some, just take some rubbing alcohol just to clean the surface there before we put that silicone sealant on the inside. <laughs> is installed now I have to install the quiet insert piece which is this piece here which basically you just put this in here like so and then you have to put this ring around the inside there just like that but a boom but a bang unfortunately I can't turn the bike on so you can hear the sound of it with the new pipe today because I have to wait for the silicone sealant to cure so in the next video I'll turn the bike on for you and I'll compare the new pipe versus the stock pipe over there hopefully it's a lot quieter okay before I install the radiator guards I'm gonna weigh them 1.7 pounds Okay, now we have to move the radiator shrouds, and of course I've got to weigh the stock radiator guards and then subtract it from the uh, guards that I'll be putting on. So these new radiator guards are going to add about a pound. Okay, to install these radiator guards is pretty easy. Just remove these two bolts out of the side here. Remove the bolt here. Just put that there. Reinstall that bolt there. And then put the two bolts here and you're good to go. And do the same for the other side. The bolts, they, the, 
the bolts they give you here, you're just using two on each side, you're using one here and one here that they provide, which is a little bit longer than stock. Then use your stock bolts here, here, and then here. So I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. All right, I got the shrouds back on. It's looking good. And I forgot, I have to install the fan kit. Okay, here's the fan. Basically, the fan goes right here. See here, 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 and there. You move this uh, radiator hose over a little bit to fit it in there, and then it'll plug into here. You gotta take this piece out, though. So the first step is to just go ahead and put these screw clips, see these screw clips here, and back of here, and back of these brackets. And then we'll go ahead and install the fan, screw them down, route the hose up behind the radiator hose up through here and then plug it into there. Okay, so I was able to get a ratchet through there and tighten that up, so I'm good. Okay, now we gotta take this wire here and snake it up through here. Plug this in. Okay, now it's time to install the seal savers. Actually, I don't really have to remove uh, these fork guards here uh, because these zip up. Basically, the widest part obviously is going to go up here where it's thicker. Then you just go ahead and zip tie the top for both sides and cut off the excess. Check it out, she's all done now. Looking good. Look at them seal savers looking good. Radiator guards looking good. Fan kit looking good. FMF exhaust looking good. Yeah, buddy. Stay tuned for the next build video, which will be a much more difficult install where I have to install all the street legal stuff on the bike, such as the, the rear fender with the tail light, turn signals. I have to route the wire harness, figure out where to put the horn, install that somewhere. Then I have to put the switch on the bar. Got to install the hand guards with the integrated turn signals. Um, I will be taking you through the process of making this bike street legal, but not in that video. I, I still have yet to receive the Ohio title for this bike. Once I get that and I put all the street legal stuff on this bike, then I can go to the title bureau, sign a form, which I'll show you. I'm going to take you through the process and switch it over to a motorcycle title, then go get a plate for it. And like I said, I'll show all of that in a future video. Um, as far as a headlight, I'm still waiting for that. Um, I'm really excited for that because... It's going to be a really powerful LED light. I'm going to cut out a portion here and it's going to peek through. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, also, I've, the speedometer should be coming pretty soon. And that will give me the temp on the bike, RPMs, everything. I'll show you how to install that on the bike. Um, and, of course, the supermoto wheels will be here next week. And uh, I'll be, I just ordered some Shinko 705s, which are 80-20 tires and I will be making those supermoto wheels uh, tubeless so I'll take you through that process of putting on a 3M extreme tape taking all the bubbles out of that and letting it cure then putting the tires on and show you how to put the wheels on the bike all of that I got a bunch of videos coming up guys stay tuned like I said um, uh, you know the parts I put on this bike and other stuff I'll, I'll include links in the description and comment section of this video if you want to go check it out because I know you guys are always going to ask me where did I get this where did I get that um, and for those of you guys who want to get my gear you know you always ask me where did I get my camel pants my boots my gloves I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear and those are a bunch of links to all of my stuff and if you want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1,200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through and hopefully find something that will inform you or entertain you. 
Hey, hit thumbs up, share this video, comment. Really helps my, my channel when you do that. It, it motivates me to do more videos. I love uh, conversing with you guys in the comments. So keep doing that. Appreciate all you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my All One Motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel. Book out moto! That showcases a van that I customize for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything. Bug out moto! As a courtesy, I included two video playlists one for new riders and those are all of the videos i've done over the years that i feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist hey hit the subscribe button i appreciate it take care